Welcome to Market Talk Weekly, discussing sales and marketing techniques to help you compete in the real estate market. We're here week after week to educate, inform, and encourage real estate professionals. And now, here's your host, real estate broker, instructor, and coach, Brian Ross. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to dominate expired listings. And I'm going to start with a story. Several years ago, I went on a listing appointment for an expired listing. And now if you're new to real estate, an expired listing is simply a property that's been previously listed with your competitor, but it didn't sell. So the listing contract ended when it reached its expiration date. And that opens the door for other agents to try to win the listing. Well, prior to going on this listing point, I did my research and prepared my listing presentation. And that includes, for me, Uh, information about myself, my company, my marketing plan, and my comparative market analysis. After touring the home with the homeowner, I asked if we could sit down. Once we got seated, I just asked him, hey, why do you think your home didn't sell? Uh, Let me just tell you, that question induced a little emotion from these folks. I was talking to a husband and wife, and especially on the husband, you could see his whole demeanor change. Obviously frustrated now, the husband told me he just felt like his previous agent only cared about getting the contract and money. And through the whole process, they had signed a six-month contract. They hardly heard anything from this agent. And so they just felt like this agent didn't do anything to try to sell their home. So I went on to share my presentation and my comparative market analysis with this couple And when I was finished, the homeowners looked a little puzzled. Then the husband asked me, do all real estate agents know about this comparative market analysis? I just kind of looked at him for a second and I said, yeah, they should. He sat back. I mean, he is definitely frustrated now. His face is a little red. He takes a deep breath. And I just gave him a little bit of space, a little bit of time. Finally sits up, he says, the other real estate agent told us when we were preparing to list this house that you take the assessed value of the home from the county and you add 25% to that and that's how you get your asking price. I'm going to tell you, I I had to bite my tongue a little bit because I don't want to be rude and I don't want to, you know, dog another agent. So I just simply restated the comparative market analysis is how we determine the list price for a home. There are three things I want you to take away from this story. Number one is that it's essential to communicate ongoing with your listing clients even when there's nothing to report. Remember, their life is basically standing still, waiting for this next step to finish so they can move on. And they're anxious and they want to know what's going on. And when they don't hear anything from you, they just assume you're not doing anything. Number two, you can only fake it for so long. You've got to educate yourself on every aspect of this industry. And number three, expired listings is an ongoing source of leads for you. And they provide a great opportunity because the owners already want to sell. And they've already been sold on your commission. You don't have to sell them on that. They also might be really motivated because of loss of time. And so they're more likely to want to act quickly and get their home relisted. It's important to be aware of some potential attitudes and expectations though before you contact these folks. As with my clients in the story, they may be frustrated and they might be outright angry. They could be very motivated even to the point of being anxious. It's, and then it's also not uncommon for home buyers to take the failure of their home not selling personal and so they could be embarrassed. So be gentle with these folks. There's typically two reasons homes don't sell. It's either overpriced 
or underpromoted. And completing a comparative market analysis is going to tell you if the home's overpriced. If it's not overpriced, then we have to assume the home wasn't promoted effectively. Believe it or not, it could be that the last agent wasn't responding to inquiries about the house. I mean, that would certainly affect the outcome. So let's walk through the process of winning the listing. So first, most local real estate associations have multiple listing service application. This means you already have access to expired listings and could even get a report of possible expired listings for a specific date ahead of time by doing a search by list date. Now keep in mind, if you're going to work expired listings, you need it to be implemented into your daily routine. It's got to be consistent if it's going to be effective. Once you get your list of expired listings for the day, then you want to start researching phone numbers. Now, keep in mind, the time frame to winning an expired listing is very narrow. And so I really want to advise sending out letters because you just don't have the time to do that. Sometimes you'll find the owner's phone numbers in the MLS, and this most often happens when the showing instructions are to contact the home sellers for an appointment. That's great. You know, I mean, if I can get into my MLS looking for expired and the homeowner's phone number's there, man, that's golden. But get in the phone number if it's not there can be pretty challenging. Now, there are some software applications you can purchase subscriptions for that not only give you cell phone numbers, but some of them also give you the email addresses. All you got to do is search the internet for keyword geoleads. If you can't find a phone number, I'm going to tell you, the next best thing, and this is old school, and there are some agents that just go straight for this, go knock on their door. <laughs> just go knock on their door to talk to them. Once you make contact, follow these steps. First, you're going to introduce yourself. Make sure you use your full name and your company name, and make sure you speak clearly so they understand everything you're saying. Next, tell them the reason why you're calling. And know this, it's not uncommon that the homeowners aren't aware their listing is expired, so be prepared to explain what you mean. Now, of course, if you call later in the day or the next day after it's expired, they've probably already gotten a bunch of real estate agents that have called them. Always, always, always ask if they still want to sell their home because, you know, they may have had it on the market for six months, maybe a year, and they're just saying, hey, it's just not meant to be. We're just going to hold off on this a little while or maybe just indefinite. Then offer services such as a comparative market analysis and also your marketing plan. And finally, you want to ask for the appointment and use, use that alternative choice approach for dates and time. You know, would you rather meet at this time and date or this time or date? So let's say you get the appointment. Yay, great job, man. So next, you want to do some research. Now, this is really important. Check the local jurisdiction to see what they have on the, in regards to the property, like bedroom, how many bedrooms, how many baths, the acreage and the square footage. Look up any past listings and then prepare your presentation and your comparative market analysis. You want to set a goal to impress the homeowners. And you do that by being prepared and understanding the process and how to move that product. When you arrive for the appointment, ask for a home tour. Honestly, this is just a time to build rapport. Obviously, we want to see the home. We want to know what it looks like, what features they have in it. But really, more than anything, I just want to build rapport and break the ice. I never mention anything negative about the house. Then you want to ask if you can have a seat somewhere and then make your presentation. Again, the key to winning this listing once you get there is by being prepared, professional, and knowledgeable about the product. Also, this meeting isn't about you until it comes time for the presentation. Don't talk about yourself during the tour. Make it about getting to know the homeowner and getting them to talk about themselves and the home. It's very important that you get them to open up. The final thing you're going to do is present them with the listing agreement and let them know you can get their house back on the market as soon as we get this signed. If they say they need more time to think about it, then you're gonna to wanna to set another appointment time so that you can come back.
If you follow these steps and you're consistent with it, you can make a whole career from selling expired. Thanks for listening to another episode of Market Talk Weekly. Visit our website at markettalkweekly.com for more real estate resources. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of Market Talk Weekly.